Yo. is memes. Oh, Rickle. Memes is there. are life. What's up, Rickle? What's up, chat? You're, You're up, Rickle. Get those smarks in there. I need a. You need a. Paper so I'm pretty sure we're live. Oh, a and we're just talking there. about Rickle going to the bathroom. So. Nice XD shirt. Thanks, man. I like it. Or a nice sexy shirt. Like so Chucky told me yesterday, whoever plays the worst in the tournament always wins. Yeah. He's doing great so far. I've, I've readjusted my view on things. <laughs> after many after many failures, here we are. Um, dog just, dog uh, next to me worried about playing well, and I'm like, let's just let's just do it. Let's win. That was a good knock against, man. That was a uh, you know a real good. We were like, oh man, he needs. Did like, they they had the pyro right? Like yeah, yeah, they had pyro. Yeah, yeah. Course. We were like, oh, he needs a. Uh, I don't know why they didn't pyro the. I guess they can't win then. You pyro Malganis, you just lose. Oh well. Man, we, they we, had we were win. saying you they needed exactly out. power overwhelming into tap Malganis so you could power overwhelm your void caller and get it. But oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Or exactly Malganis off the top. Yeah, I guess we did have PO as an out, sort of. Into Malganis. Yeah, runner, runner out. Yeah. They were pretty upset. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta win turn. But I mean, they could have actually missed their arcane missile on your face the previous turn. One missile had to hit face to get you down to 10. Yeah, to be fair, we still could have won the match because then they'd yeah. stop to win with Warrior. But mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Just, these it's guys always have fair. worse classes, so. These are the losers. Let's watch these people with bad They've classes. They've probably been playing real well. Um, of course, Trump was not happy to get Rogue. And so they're trying to get that out of the way, I guess. We we kind of figured out oh. Raptor Rogues kind Finley of Finley Rogue. Yeah, there's like no weapon buffs. They're just playing Raptor Rogue, I'm pretty sure. Uh, they didn't really get they didn't really improve. Heal's not bad. Like, I'd probably take heal. Against a hunter, yeah. Yeah, because you can use it on your minions. Well yeah, it's for sure better than armor. Yeah. So shape he, shift. He's only like, they're just considering shape shift. Yeah. Which But they've got the one three out. Well, it is Trump, so this might be a long decision. Oh, yeah. When there's two people, decisions take, like, a lot. Exponentially longer. Yes, because, like, you have to cross-check your decision, and you're like, eh, what Then you, you argue, and then... Yeah, and the rope brings you back to reality. You're like, oh, right, we're playing a game. Right. Oh, timing. Yeah. Well, do you think they run SAP in uh, Raptor Rig? I don't know. Um... I think it's kind of a read on the metagame. We we did decide that a lot of people would have Belchers, so maybe they would throw that in. This is an awkward turn one, because you don't really want to coin. You're looking at coining your high main on turn five. Yeah. Uh, that, that works out way better. So and you might then, just pass, and passing as the Hunter feels strange, because you're supposed to be the one yeah, it's rough. dropping Leper Gnomes and this going is, ham. The Hunter's like the defensive class in this matchup, if he correctly reads that it's Raptor. So yeah, he's going to like... He's basically just saying, I'm never going to play this ever. I'm never going to have time. Like, he's literally saying that out loud to his to his teammate. And, uh, yeah. yeah. He's going for that. And he could coin a camel. Like, there's probably a one drop besides Finley in that rogue deck. It's probably Lepers. What do you think? We're going to find out right now. Yeah. Oh, there's abusives at least, for sure. What? Zombie oh, show. Wow. That's that slows the nice. game down. Yeah, and he didn't rip the Cabal Beer, so... I don't know if I like coining the Camel, though. It messes up your curve. Ooh. Look at turn three. Maybe... Turn three doesn't look good anymore, does it? Maybe it's backstab of this. You could always trade the Loot Order to get a better play. Hmm... I wonder... Backstab of this kind of feels right. Yeah, I mean... Just keep the pressure. <laughs> oh, I don't, man, this turn three of 100 is going to be so weird. Oh, okay, he's just gonna backstab. That's fine. Save for this. Make use of that hero power he picked. Of course, the, the heal would do the exact same thing here. It'd actually be better. No, oh, I wouldn't push one damage, I guess. Um, do you just Glaivezooka here? Yeah, everything else dies. Alright. Glaivezooka kills Zombie Chow, you're at full health. He's kinda like gonna need Unleash this game, I guess. So, if he doesn't get Unleash, I'll probably just Knife Juggler Alec, hope he kills like mm -hmm. the Loot Hoarder or something. And then, uh, man, I wish he saved Coin. Don't you? Eh. 
I don't know. I mean, it was pretty obvious that the rogue would have a one drop. You got the Cavaldi would be a lot better for him. So I think he was just going for that. It was a 66% chance. Okay, now Argus looking good. No, nope, I guess he's shuddering because he attacked already. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, Harrison not probably not gonna get anything. Okay, we're gonna have the knife juggler Alec and what could it draw? Maybe it'll draw him like a belcher. That would be the best possible thing. If he runs belcher. Uh, well, he really wants a belcher actually. A high drop would be okay. Oh, the other guy. Ooh, unlucky. I don't really like Harrison that much in this format because there's like even distribution of classes. So about half the time it's going to do nothing. But I guess that's pretty close to what it usually does. Yeah. It's once in a while it just wins a game. Yeah. We were pretty scared that uh, Zalei had Harrison. Hey, Denim. My shield for Argus. So good. Oh, when you were Doomhammering? Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. They were like acting pretty cocky, like throwing down some trash talk. Seemed pretty calm. I was like, oh, I think they've got Harrison. I think we... They're always throwing out trash talk though, right? Yeah. That's why That's why we went for it anyway. Like, eh. Uh, okay. Knife Shuttler Camel, really two knives. Pick up. We want to hit that Shredder. He's going to get the Cavaldier. We want to hit that Shredder. He's going to get Trump another Chow, I guess. That's cool. Oh, is there no Chow? We can. Let's just do an animation. Okay. Oh. Uh, no knife. Yeah. Yeah, that interaction's kind of weird. So it actually pulls your guy second, sort of. Either of the four drops in a vis looking really good. Yeah, I think uh, it sucks that the zombie chow is going to heal him for five, or else he could start looking for a lethal push for some more time. Yeah, because he's got like what ten out of hand, nine on board. It's pretty close. But you can play board against mid range hunter and not really get punished. This juggler is pretty bad. Thank you. They're not even hitting face, so we can't even like throw in a smart. I know. Just, wait, wait, what emotes? They're, they're just getting bad targets. Chat, what emotes do we throw out right now? What the hell? Like, how do you even respond to a juggler hitting a two three? Okay. Here's high main finally, but it feels really late. It's a really bad high main. And you're like, man, I wish I had a coin for that high main last turn. Or I wish my knife juggler hit his shredder. <coughs> or I wish yeah, you I had just, a better deck. Just got to get lucky, man. Or I wish I was luckier. Well, Animal Companion and Houndmaster is a good, good turn next turn now. So, so chat's giving us a mixed response. I mean, they basically spam lol to everything. Okay, let's just spam lol. Let's just say lol everything that happens right here. All right. Well, let's wait for an RNG event. And regardless of the result, it's just lol. There's no RNG card in the yeah, hand right now. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, there's, there's Huffer. Hey, wait, there's Huffer. Creeper. My Argus, lol. Argus. What's the hunter gonna do? Honestly, though. Lol. 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 Oh. Oh, oh two, two RNG cards. What animal companion is he gonna get? Oh, uh, Leoc. Come it's on, Leoc. Come wait. on, Leoc. To my side. Lol. lol. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, that's it. I can see how this gets entertaining for, for Twitch chat. <laughs> nice, I like, Leoc. I like like watching the speed at which the lulls pick up. Like You can tell when, an, ex when an extra lully thing happens. <laughs> <laughs> Leoc, what are you doing? Oh, uh, eh, lull. Lull. Well... You can invest that, and then you have 11 damage. I guess you're one off. Ooh. Oh, oh can't no, you can't backstab that. that. So that was actually... You're one damage off. Okay, it didn't matter that he taunted. It didn't, it didn't matter which one he taunted in the end. Lol. Lol. And then Hearthstone decision didn't matter. Lol. Yush. <laughs> the yush. Hmm. Well, I mean, he is kind of eyeing on board, and he's got a zombie chow, which is awkward. Yeah. So maybe he has to like value trade a little bit, like put the. Yeah, this gets a little interesting forward. now. Yeah. There's a uh, an unleashed top deck. Would it be bad? Hmm. Like the fact that Rogue is even in this spot with that dominant of an opener, 
just shows it was like the weakest class in the draft. It was it's, also it was it's also because of the zombie chest, though, because he would have just... Yeah, the zombie chest really, it. like, anything else, especially Lepernome. He would have like, killed him with Lepernome already. Lepernome would have murdered him. Chalky Gnome. I'm, I'm surprised... I'm surprised he backstabbed the 2-4. I would have, like, traded in the 5-4. I, I guess he wins this way, like, almost all the time. Except against Unleash. Unleash would wreck him. So... If he gets Misha and he kills the Zombie Chow, he's at 11 with 4 health taunt. Yeah. I mean, is that enough? Is he still dead? He's still dead, right? Yeah, because there's the two five fours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's the Creepers. The two Creepers. And then there's the 2-1. And then and that's there's exactly, the power. Exactly. So that's exactly enough. Cool. That's what I'm saying, right? Yeah, go to nine. Nine, and there's exactly no. No? Well, we fucked up somewhere. No, there's I nine guess. on board, and there's hero power. Yeah, but then there'd be a uh, taunt in the way, if you roll taunt. So I guess he did the trading more efficiently. Oh, because he used a. Uh... Oh, because using your, using your glaives, you could have killed, 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 killed his own. Yeah, 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 okay. That, that's where we screwed up. Misha's good. Yeah, math. Yeah, you're actually good at math. I am. Yeah. I do it. We're, I do it occasionally. We were kind of spaced out though, huh? I'm really good at adding like really tiny numbers together in yeah. rapid succession. Okay. Yeah. Two and two and like four. Maybe a three occasionally. Whoa. And like a four if you roll Huffer. That's crazy. And then like you have to do math. Like if you roll a Leoc, everything goes up one. Yeah. It's rough. It's really then, rough. then you feel like four minutes like, oh, Huffer and Leoc are the oh. same. Then it gets easy though. But what if you roll Misha? Then you're like, oh, uh, it doesn't do any damage. That's not smart. Well, so what are we doing? We're just waiting. Oh yeah. It's apparently the uh, the there pick, we go. There's a lot of strategy in the pick oh. phase. Yeah. Uh, of conquest. <laughs> so me and me and Blay, we were heading on over to random.org. Lol. Lol. They they really had to think about what to go with. So I think Druid. Okay, I think Hunter was like. I think all of Admiral's decks are kind of weak. I don't know. Like, we built Paladin way differently, and I think I like ours way better than Double Quartermaster. He has a Guardian of Kings. Yeah, and and Trump just got his, his worst deck out of the way. So... Yeah, we have the Face Druid. I'm not sure what Admirable could really look to beat three times. Okay, Innervate Savage into Argent Horse Rider the next turn is actually decent. I feel like you just want to hear a power at that point. Your hero power is even more broken. Yep. If it's alive, yep. I'll probably kill it. Yeah. Probably kill it. Um. Smork. So two of these are both pretty good. Steady shot and shape shift. Yeah. Uh, steady shot's like better in the fact that you don't have to have the doom hammer up for it to do two. Shape shift heals you for one, and you can use. I think it you actually take use. shape shift because by the time you start using hero power, you will have doom hammer up. I'm feeling like he's gonna get the doom hammer online this game, so. I'm feeling shapeshift. I like online there. It's a good word there. Yeah. Alright. We, we're shapeshifting. Oh, Everyone's a druid. Yep. It's a druid mirror. You can't avoid it. You can make the wackiest for me. <laughs> yeah, you still get Everyone's a druid Everyone's still mirror. a druid eventually. Well. We actually forced druid into this turn. I think druid's the This format the was just to nerf druid. It's I like, think, yeah, oh, you can't play... Worst. Can't play Druid of the Claw because it starts as a 4 4. Can't play Ancient of War because it starts as a 5 5. Can't play Ancient of Lore because it, it is, is a 5 5. Can't play Dr. Boom. Can't play Emperor. Can't play Shade. Still Druid. Oh, by the way, you can't play Fell Reaver if you're thinking about aggro. Yeah. So they still, actually. Still Druid. Still they Druid. went with the list that I was like thinking about. I'm like, well, they could go with the uh, the Spectral Knight list. And then they opened up the first game with the Spectral Knight in their hand. So yeah. You basically just take the list, replace Fell Reavers with Spectral Knight, call it a day. Whereas with Shaman, you don't have to replace anything. Anything at all. We just built our Shaman deck. That's true, huh? Uh, there was one card we had to replace, I think. Well, I don't it? even know if there was a card. No, that probably just wasn't. I wonder what he's thinking about. He's thinking whether he horse rider bumps or horse rider face. What to do? Uh, nothing else to think about, right? I mean... I think you horse rider face. I think you horse rider face, yeah. Like, 
There's no way you're trading into that. Because then your opponent just hero powers it. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, he can't, right? He has one mana next turn. Yeah, but... So, trading would make a little more sense, but I still, yeah, like this white because Trump's going to have to play a 2-1, most likely, unless mm -hmm. he draws Tunnel Trog, or... He's going to play Abuse and go facing his white. Yeah, exactly. So, like, that's why you should go face, is because with only one mana, Trump's almost always playing a 2-1 here. See, the only thing he could do to avoid it is play Abusive and hit a 2-1 bubble. He'd be like, yo, I'm going to play around <laughs> swipe a tiny bit here. A tiny bit, too. Don't even kill it. The just tiniest like, bit ever. Miss no, 5 damage. Because next turn he can flame juggle. What if he just holds power, Abusive? Right? It's like, you know what? He could do that. But it oh, no, look, no. Trump's putting the Trump face on. Look no, at the Trump no, face. No, that's so bad because... Inspect... Trump's face. Okay, so if he doesn't have swipe, it's awful. If he does have swipe, next turn you go flame go with your power. Next turn you go doom hammer. Here comes the swipe. You never have time. Here comes the swipe. Here comes Skamaz. Do 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 do. Still in my water. All right. Which is in his room. So. Wait, what if this game's not over? It's uh, it's, it's not over. Because there's all. a doom hammer and it's there's a druid deck with no taunts in it. it it's very close. It is um, a Drew deck with no taunts. They have Sludge Belcher, I think. Oh, they do. Just because it's just that good. Like, okay. When everything else They put is it like, in their aggro deck. Five drops, like, suck in this format. They're good. Like, you need them, but they're pretty mediocre. Because Azure Drake, Lothep are gone. Foul Reaver's gone. Oh, I love equipping the Doomhammer and double swing in the face. It feels so good. Oh, yeah. Let's Look go. At that, Let's man. go. That's not telegraphed what you should do, Trump. I don't know if you've been uh, paying attention. <laughs> Trump's teachings. All right. Face, face. 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 Next turn, Hero Power, Rock He's Fighter, so dead. Face for 12, and See? then you Lava Burst Crackle the turn after. So, okay. Emro really needs to think about how to kill him in, like, real fast. Well, he needs to plan around top decking Savage Roar. Yeah, so he could he could innervate the... He's definitely putting the roots down. He, and... could, he could just play everything. He yeah. could go Shredder, Hero Power. I'm not sure if Hero Power is relevant or not, but you could. And then innervate out the roots, hope you rip Savage Roar and win. You have to rip Savage Roar to win. Of course, yeah, you definitely need Savage here. Um, take him to 20. And you've got 10 on the board. 10 from, 10 from Savage. Savage oh, but you have Swipe, actually. You didn't have to hit his face. Yeah, 24 four. is exact. You have exactly the uh, Savage Roar next turn here. So he's kind of playing around like now one weird over. things. So, yeah, 10 on board. Your Savage Roar does exactly 10 because there are five targets. So you have 20 and 24. Okay, with this swipe. plays around Double Rock Fighter. He would have died to double rock biter, whereas this way, he only takes eighteen. Oh, then, it's actually because the shaman's gonna armor up. It's exact yeah, lethal he, he, with he savage. Needed, he needed the yep drop. So he needed the. Uh, well, he could innervate here power the next turn. So I guess it works out the same way. Yeah, he didn't really Trump, have to think about it. There might have been merit. Okay, this has to be savage roar is gonna be esports here. Let's see. I mean, if you're gonna uh, win the tournament. Unlucky. Actually, the shaman should have. Ah, oh, no, you have to hit it so hard. The shaman could have just hit a, a one one. Yeah, you do have to waste three. But like he hit it for six. And there's no he healing and no taunts. Well, he okay, thinks there might be a belcher. belcher. So okay. it, it, you have to go. This is you yeah, go. but seven... crackle, lava burst, mm. boom boom. Savage is more likely than belcher. You only need to use lightning bolt to kill. Can you still? Yeah, you go with the top deck to tilt him. And then you even say it, you're like, whew, whew close one. Lost that one. Oh, man. My yeah. other two cards were. Did, did you see we cards. did that with, with Mustard for Battle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had it and we ripped one, and they were so mad. He's, you're like, damn, I had Flame Tongue, Flame Tongue, and. I just, uh, I just look at Dog and I'm like, like well, I guess seven, go sometimes. On. Jeez. They were so mad. Good, good thing I drew that Lightning Bolt, because those two Flame Tongues, tongues in the Totem Golem are not going to do anything. Oh, that's a 2 a 0. Lol. 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 And, um,. The winner of this. Now kiss. The winner of this. Cap of Pride. Plays against Delay. The winner of that. Plays against Chucky in the I grand finals. Chucky, the most skilled I'm, player I'm in this whole pretty. tournament. No, 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 no. Not no. yet, until you win. That is, uh, that's incorrect. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're dispelling this rumor, you know? Yeah. I'm, I'm. See, this is what Reddit wants me to say. Like, I'm the worst, I'm just getting lucky. I, I I probably won't win. Yeah. And now maybe I'll win because I said that. Yeah. I'm humble. You have to be modest. Yes. Then you, you have to. Everybody's all. We're all equal. Then you win and just say, "Wow, well, RNG was on my side today." <laughs> uh, 
you know, thanks to everyone who supported me. I love um, everyone. I love um, you guys. My opponents, they just played spectacularly. I love all my opponents. You know, we're all going to go have a good time now. And uh, I'm smiling, and you should be smiling too. You guys thanks should a lot. all love everything. <laughs> I love love. <laughs> lol, lol, lol. <laughs> Is that, was that good enough? That's good. Is that what they want for my next interview? You still have to win, though. You oh, can't get man. second and say that. You're lame. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Oh, oh, we have a real matchup here. This is like control versus control. Wait. Oh, shit. This is the first time is... I think we've had a control versus control in the tournament. I mean, Admiral kept Justicar because one ones will eventually overrun Priest. So... Trump has to get an early board lead and then not lose it, which is hard because of Equality Consecrate. And yeah, if he doesn't do that, I'm pretty sure Admiral will just win from 1-1s. One -ones. Mm -hmm. mm. But one of his three decks will kill a priest, right? Uh, Maybe well, not. Well, it's, it's, it's more like Trump just needs to win once with priest. Like he just needs to kill a deck with priest, which is... I meant to say the other way around. Priest is. I meant to say priest will beat. Dogs. Dog said he thought priest his, was pretty good. Priest basically lost nothing. Absolutely nothing. Like think of a card that priest plays. It yeah, doesn't yeah. have equal attack and health because yeah, that's why when they light bomb it always just kills right, your stuff. Right, because all of their class is already designed for it to have more health than attack. Like that's like their thing. So they like health. Yeah, they really like health. So basically, you can just put in a constructed priest deck, maybe, minus maybe Doctor Boom. Looks like Admiral's just gonna smork though. Mm. Just Death Lord, right? Death yeah. yeah. If it double knifes it, he can kill it. It doesn't even nah, kill he's that not good. gonna kill it. He's just gonna pass, I think. Yeah, because well, like, Holy Nova can't beat it yet. Okay, well, that was tough to pass. I wonder what he's thinking about. Mm. Maybe just acting like he has a decision. There's no world where you're like. Oh yeah, I don't need these jugglers. <laughs> <laughs> just let's, okay, let's you can that. have this one. You can have this one. <laughs> let's get that guy low, you know, because priest can't heal. I mean, I and guess shield. you can think about Ox Circle, which came off the top, but that is good. So you, he could have traded one. I still don't like that though. Like you Ox Circle for sure, right? Uh, I mean, you, you get your death throw down a three. But. It's pretty scary to not Ox Circle. Embrace like. The because then you give your opponent the, the, the itis thing. Okay. Um, Pally's probably just going to pass. Oh, Haunted Creeper here, Bar. It's fine. Yeah, and then he can cock next turn and be fine. Reporting for duty. And we're back. <laughs> we were never gone, Rackful. We were never gone. Never. Audio did this not cut out. Perfect. Everything's going great, just like my tournament run. <laughs> and, uh, you know, unlucky. Uh, I like bumping the Creeper and nova in here, but you do know that it's a slow pal and you might need Nova later. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean... Oh, sorry, you have Akanai down. We were AFK for a second, so I spaced out. Well, he could bump the Akanai. Yeah. That's a, a lot worse. Than Doesn't what feel you were that thinking. good. Yeah. yeah. But well, I mean, you could just suicide, you guys. You never know. Mm. It's a tough turn. Like, yeah. You might just want to get down an acolyte and start drawing. Um, if you're going into turn five, and you know that the paladin next five drops were double quartermaster and vultures, Quickly. and that's it. So, like, you kind of know the range to play around. You need to kill that one one so it doesn't get. I don't know if you'd mind Quartermaster going into Cabal turn. That's the best Cabal target you can get. I guess Creeper's okay too. Yeah, I really like the shield here. Just to play Just one or two? Okay. Yeah. One on one on Acolyte, one on the Death Lord. Nah, one on... Oh, I yeah, know. That okay. saves it from... From True Silver. Right? Sure. Yeah, True Silver. Yeah, 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 actually. True Silver would be real bad if you didn't do that. So... No. Owl's not too relevant because it's like Sylvanas isn't a thing, Tyrion's not a thing. Like a lot of the silenceful stuff is gone. 
Um, Ooh, Harrison. It's going to be important. This huh. priest just... First we bumped out with the uh, Acolyte. Acolyte. Yep. And then we decide between hero powering and killing the creeper or just cabaling. I kind of like cabaling. Cabaling seems okay. Cabaling is never bad. Never. If you steal something. Yeah. If you don't steal something, it's pretty bad. <laughs> then it's a Yeti for six minutes. Let mana. me change your Indeed. mind. But this way, it's a six eight for six mana. But yeah, it's just really important that Trump stays ahead on board and keeps a card advantage, which he's doing really well. Like, we just got to the just card turn, and Admiral's in a really bad spot. Yeah, what do you do here? You I'd probably, probably just just a card I, and trade. You don't trade, you kill the Akane. Yeah, that's that's what the trade. Oh, okay. Trade usually means they both die, right? Mm, trade just means hitting minions, I think. Oh, okay. I don't know. When I, when I think trade, I think they both die. What do you guys think in chat? And we need to pull up the chat so we can see. Oh, where's the chat? I don't know. I think I think trade is just like, you make a trade, you traded your health on your guy for their guy, for their health on their guy. Like, you can trade a 2-3 into a 2-3. Neither of them die. But that's that's a like trade. a bump. That's a bump. Uh, it kind of is a bump. Yeah. Uh, oh, man, are people on your side? Yeah, they're think, saying it's trade if they both I, I die. I think, come on, if, if we flip sides, I think they'd be on your side still. Come on, man! You're just a popular guy. That's not fair. That is, yeah, I know. Life's not fair. No, man. they would have. They would have been. No way. Um, if you had said, that oh, it's we got some people saying hit minions. That's a bump. Both die. So you you call that a bump? No, a bump is when neither die. What the trade what is, is, a trade when is when both dies. die. When one die, it's a kill. Go. You just kill it. You the, the killer lives. You know. I guess He's you're kind of right. Yeah. yeah, you're like opening my eyes to these things. Yeah. You know, I just don't think about trading much. <laughs> you just swore. <laughs> yeah, I just haven't like considered all these in-depth reasons. Trading's for merchants. You just smork. Yeah. <laughs> mm. If he clears, he passes initiative. Yeah. Oh well. Usually, priest can't do much with initiative. Like he's gonna develop a three-five. <gasps> And a 2-3. Entomb isn't nearly as good because there's just not much to Entomb. Yo. I wonder what he's thinking about. Uh, I don't know. You got Skamaz walking in. Yeah, man. What you looking for, Skamaz? Uh, slippers. Slippers. <laughs> You're disrupting the entire tournament to find slippers? Yeah, okay. pretty much. Backface, you can take it for my cast real quick. I had to cast? Yeah, go ahead. Alright. Can you cast? I don't want to cast. What? So, you really want to cast? Alright, I got this. Don't worry. I'm a terrible caster. So. Oh, he has superhero power? Superhero power. He has good. superhero power, but he's behind on board. And there's a pyro. He's like, ah, oh, man. Get sapped. Oh, okay. okay you're sapped. Sapped. Oh, thank God. Backspace sapped. Okay. Alright. So, those are some dudes. Oh, Holy Nova. It's everything for three. Whoa. Feels good. Whoa, it even heals this guy. Everything's dead. Oh, man. Yeah. Feels good. Yeah, I don't know. Priest. I actually don't. Even with this, he might not have enough to push through before. Because one one's start overpowering him. Man, it feels good to be a priest. It's really nice, though. Oh, oh. I, he's gonna That's wait. That's next turn. He's gonna wait, yeah. Next turn you can make so many oh, dudes. Oh, he's gonna make so many dudes. Oh, uh, I love dudes. It's like five three threes and a two five. <laughs> Anyone else love dudes in chat? Okay. I wonder. I, I actually do not know what he's thinking about because there's no way he does that this turn. Yeah, yeah. For yeah. sure you belt your in hero power. I don't know. It'd be so bad this turn. Cause you just give up you so could, much. You just make. You could just make two dudes with your hero power. It's, uh, yeah, it's like I don't even know the term for it. Because I just, thinking about? I haven't studied anything, but it's like you know, there's there's even an economics word for this. Your opportunity cost. Opportunity cost. Power. Yep. Yeah, like you're just giving up so much. You only gain one dude. You know, like, you gain gotta, three dudes from us, but you lose two dudes. It. Trump would have made that play instantly. Yeah. No way he'd miss out that dude value. Yeah, Trump loves dudes. Trump. Loves dudes. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> well, 
All right, now I, lo I love when Trump puts his hand on his face. <laughs> this is my favorite. He has the funniest thinking pose. Look at that. Just like a lot of people like to put their finger, you know, or they like rest it on their hand. He literally like cocks his face and he's like, oh yeah. So Valens is really good here. When you Valens, it kills the one ones and it buffs one of your three attack minions to kill the Sludge Belcher. Then you can finish the ooze. After killing it, your zombie child just got hit down to one from you using Velens. You're saying a lot of words, and they make sense. I, I agree. Yep. Boom. Good plays. Boom. Made. Well. You might even use Flash. No, he's not. Just heal. Yeah, now, now you're gonna save his Flash. Now he wants to heal one later. guy out of uh, Consecrate range. Flash would be bad because it hits all your stuff alone. Yeah. Oh, it dies to True Silver now. Oh, unlucky. Okay. I, I don't know, man. What do you do? You I, True I, Silver this, first, maybe, huh? This is the muster turn, right? Because you get to kill a 2 1. Hmm. It actually is going to work out way better for him. We know it's going to work. work out way better for True Silvers because he'll get Harrison yeah. for less card draw. Yeah, but then he can't use the, the thing. I guess he gets more dudes this way. Dudes are sweet. Gets some dudes this turn. Okay, so he will get Harrison on this. Yeah. Then he won't get Harrison on a three charge. I mean, the tree slope is more important, but three cards is a lot of card advantage to overcome. Yeah. Oh, the cleric's really good. Yeah. This is looking great for Priest. Is someone injured? Man. You like casting Priest games, Rackful? Well, they're long. You like the long, like... Very drawn out. Wind. No, my favorite is Lepernome coin Lepernome. Like, oh, <laughs> he is done. Just spam Pog Champ, <laughs> or just spam Smork. Uh, Smork is one of my favorite emotes. I think Zale was like, you've you've played three Shaman games, and that's that's three Tom Chugs now. I'm like, yeah, I even got it in the practice game. <laughs> oh, he's not gonna Harrison. Oh, that's that's next, cute. That's next level. That's pretty neat. That's so cool. I'm actually oh, really surprised he, he didn't Harrison. He might, he might still do it. Where's the Harrison? It's on the far left. Oh. So, but is it on his far right? <sighs> I feel like it would be okay here. I don't know. Um, What's he, is he saving it for Tyrion? Trump has super inevitability with uh, the Golden Monkey. So Wait. There is no Tyrion. Oh yeah, he's the 6-6. Six, six. You can't play him. You can, you can, by the way, if you just tuned in, you can't play any minions with the same attack and health. So yeah, these no, players no, actually no. had to build decks, except Priest didn't have to change one card. Priest did not change a single card except maybe Sylvanas. Shaman didn't have to change a single card. Shaman was the number one draft Zoo pick. only had to change Dark Peddler and Sea yeah. Giant. Yeah, you know Warlock fell uh, all the way to six pick and we got it. I, I, I was thinking Warlock would be the best one because it's already a tier one deck. It's, it's the best one besides yeah. maybe Shaman. Yeah. And then, so Zelay got to pick before us. And he didn't pick Warlock, and we picked Warlock, and then he used his free pick on Warlock anyway. Mm. <laughs> so weird. So there's only two in the tournament. How wasn't everyone there thinking There could have been three Warlocks in the tournament, but there's only two. Okay, so we have to do something. It's just, I, I think you just hero power, you attack first, then you hero power, muster, quartermaster, you don't want to kill your own true sliver with your muster. Oh, man. Oh, my God, oh, press the him. Dudes, the dudes. So many dudes coming out. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, dudes. You got the quartermaster off right. Five dudes. He didn't get it off. Wait, is there any chance he didn't want to play it? Everyone in the other room is saying what? I don't know. Wait, he did, did. I didn't look at his facial reaction. He like, didn't. He didn't have any reaction. So that was his plan. And we, we've got our, our live living room camera there. You can see. But now, I mean, the Hackalike can kill one close. and draw a card, and the North Shire can hit it. And they could oh, just okay. all He's die just dead. Dead. Wait. He's just dead! Does anyone get it? Does anyone get it? I, wait, why didn't he react if he messed up? He, what, did, he didn't react, so he... Shouldn't his face be like, oh my... You know? Words that start with he, F? He's, he's like so calm, he's just like, okay, okay. Now there's not the other monster. Welcome to the grand well, tournament still not Harrison. He's, he's holding... Holding strong for Ethereum that doesn't exist and he hasn't tuned for anyway. Um, this is an interesting game. I actually have no idea what's going on. Wait, so what's the not Harrison for I, four cards? No. See, I guess Trump's thinking about fatigue, but 
He has monkey in his deck. So you don't fatigue with monkey in your deck. With monkey in your deck, you just always win. Like very rarely do you lose with like nine legendaries. In Wait, a row. you don't Harrison four draws? Now he can do it for three if he wants to draw a little less. I feel like if you're Trump, like I mean, he's still drawing cards. Yeah, yeah, like, like, he's, he's not. He's, he likes he, drawing cards. He should be like rushing towards monkey, slamming monkey, and finishing, because his hero power is technically worse than the dudes. Okay. I wonder what would have happened this game if Admirable played the all the du three three dudes. Yeah. Oh man, how sick would it? Wait, so now he can never quartermaster more than two dudes, probably, unless he draws the other monster. Did he play a monster earlier? I don't know. No, he no. didn't. He did. he What's this? Admiral's deep in thought. Look That's at him. Balance. He's doing the thing with his hand, too. They both have hands on the face. You can tell it's a really if you, intense match. If you ever want to let looks... someone know you're thinking a lot, yeah. put your hand on your face. Wait. I don't think there's much more thinking Let's... to do here. Uh, you can kings the opponent. Yeah, he's dead, yeah. Oh man, wait. That was a lot of thinking for being dead on board. We want to know why he didn't quarter match. I mean. I guess. It's cool, it's cool. Uh, it's cool. Yeah. 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 Let's just all chill. I mean, maybe this he was. About, no. Maybe he was really taking my advice to heart. Like, no, no, maybe he just he actually roped and somehow his face didn't react to it full roping. We just have to ask him. Who knows? He's going to give us a long story. Yeah. Should we get him in here? We haven't done one of those. Let's get a loser's interview. A loser's interview. Let's, let's get him. Um, one sec. Stand by. Okay. We're getting a loser's interview, guys. Everyone wants to know what's going on. So, um, we're bringing it to you. You know, Admiral's played pretty well all tournament. He did miss. I've been commentating all the time, so. He did miss an attack one time with a, the 2-1... Uh, Pirate guy that because he uses weapon first, but other than that, he's chilling. Do you want a loser's interview? All right, he's coming in. Smells good out there. Okay, what's up? How you feeling? I feel fine. Top four had zero points on day one, so I feel like getting you did it. You, you had a fourth. great comeback from Sorcerer's Apprentice, right? Yeah, I mean, everything was fine from that yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, um. <laughs> How come no one... You guys should have chosen Warlock, huh? Um, People just like Warlock go back. Yeah, so I misunderstood the rule at the start. I thought it was you couldn't play minions like that had the same health and attack. Like I thought you meant it couldn't, you couldn't play 1-3-3 three, three, and another 3-3. Three, three. Not that you couldn't play 3-3s, three, period. Oh. So like I was like, well, Druid's great there, right? I just scaled the curve. And then they're like... No, and you're you like, oh, I actually you can't play Druid of the Claw, Ancient of Lore, Ancient of War, Shade... Well, I was going to play Aggro Druid anyway. So okay. the only thing I Can't actually play Fell yeah, Fell Reaver is what I lost. Okay, um, but I actually don't think it mattered that much. I think what mattered a lot more was uh, the deck building on the uh, the Paladin and the Hunter. I think with the Hunter, I should have gone a lot more defensive and just instead of playing like the Camels, try to just like literally play my own Zombie Chows and just try to scale into big stuff at the end. Mm -hmm. um, and I think with the Paladin, I probably should have had Flame Jugglers in there. Just well, you could do Zombie Chow with the Camels too, right? Yeah, then that was, I mean, we could have, but if you're running the zombie chows, you're probably not running any other one drops because you're having the extra mid and, and late game stuff. Okay, okay. Um, so it should have been probably been Eagle Horn Bow, two freezing traps, or even two bear traps just to get the Houndmasters active uh, and played more to just like kill their stuff and rely on high main to do all the work. Okay, and there's one thing everyone wants to know. Uh, why didn't, after the muster and hero power and you had five dudes, why didn't you quartermaster? Okay, so on that one, we were split 50 50 on whether or not it was Light Bomb or Wild Pyromancer. And. If he had either one, it wasn't really that big, that good of a spot. And in the end, we concluded at the time that playing around uh, Light Bomb was better than playing around Wild Pyromancer. But if, if he has it, don't you lose anyway? Um, Isn't it one of those? Well, spots? no. If he Light Bombs the 1-1s, one -ones, I think we're still fine. Because then we can just make the two 1-1s one in Quartermaster. But he needs it while If Pyro. it's just 1-1s, one he had an Acolyte to bump one and North Strider to bump one. He's just bumping them. Well, I think, I think if, he, right. if he has Light Bomb and he chooses not to Light Bomb there... That we end up with two one ones that we can quartermaster that turn and attack with them, and that's why we thought playing around the light bomb was better than playing around the wild pyromancer. Okay. Because we play around the wild pyromancer, we get light bomb. We're going to lose hundred percent if we play around the wild pyromancer and he has light bomb. Um, the thing is, you're just giving him more. Uh, from my perspective, you're just giving yeah. him more time to draw light bomb, and he wouldn't have to light bomb that turn because he had 
you know, a one, two one threes and another minion. Well, no, he doesn't have to, and that's sort of yeah, the yeah. point is that we. And then, and then you get the floor attack, master, two dudes, maybe. Yeah, that was the that was the plan there, and I think I think in hindsight we probably should have gone with uh, the quartermaster because we only had one quality. Yeah. Um, and that was really kind of where we were like, yeah. And then we were looking at the pilot sky goal and we're like, we actually we actually can't even cast this because of entomb. Yeah. Um. So everything just got muddled up, and we just didn't really have an option. And I think the decks were just built poorly. Is what it boiled down to. Mm hmm. Maybe, what, what would you put instead of a, maybe Guardian of Kings? I um, think that was a good card. The Guardian was fine. I think the yeah. Pilot Sky Golem probably should have been a second Guardian of Kings. Okay. Um, and I probably should have played more heavily to to uh, Equality and not so much in the Consecrates. Like having two Consecrates, I think, was bad because if I'm playing against the Aggro decks, well, I know they're 100% going to have Creeper and Egg in the Zoo decks. And I know that versus the other Aggro decks, they're going to play Creeper and Flame Juggler. Yeah. So the two Consecrates were much worse there. Like if those had been Wild Pyromancers, or had they been uh, a second of quality and I don't know, just like name a mid sized threat that's pretty decent, uh, that would have been fine. Like just something that they couldn't have gotten entombed, like Shadow Word Death for a bunch of value. I like this type of format because, especially that you don't know what you're going to ahead of time, because you have to think about deck building on the spot, and that's where most of the skill in Hearthstone is. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. I, I like the, the adaptation. It's pretty of cool. It. I mean, that's to, to me, like seeing players adapt to the weird styles like this is, is like a glimpse of what standard's going to end up being, where people have to like really adapt to stuff <laughs> and, and make goofy faces while they're on stream. Um, no, no, no. I'm just... I realize that Trump always has this face on. He looks like he's thinking very deeply. So I want to... I want to look like I'm thinking very deeply, too. Yeah, I think him and Orange actually played the match pretty perfectly. Like, I they don't... Played, they played very well. I don't feel like there was really... Except much... there was this one weird part. They held Harrison. So they held Harrison when you had True Silver on. I'm like, maybe they're holding him for Mustard. Then you Mustard, and they still held Harrison. I'm like, maybe they think... Oh, they didn't want to draw cards. But we were... Chucky and I were like... I mean, they're drawing cards with their Acolyte all the time, and they have monkeys, so they're not going to lose fatigue. You know, we well, were like, not necessarily. I mean, I think I think the big fear there was if they overcommit to the board and we have second equality sweep, that they've drawn so many extra cards at that point that maybe it becomes a detriment. <laughs> okay, but you, I mean, you could draw cards and then not overcommit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think I think you could definitely just keep drawing cards and not really overcommit. I think that's fine, which is kind of what they were doing. Um, so I respect you too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I respect you, bro. <laughs> I think, All right. Yeah, I think it was just deck building. Um, I feel like I just did it poor in hindsight. And also, had I had I not un misunderstood the uh, the draft, I would have taken Shaman first instead of Druid. Like, the Druid doesn't even make sense, really. Unless right. you literally are 100%. So next time efficient. you ask Amaz what the rules really are. Um, you know, well, yeah, it, it, the, the wording, I think, should have been, you cannot play minions that have the same attack and health. As uh, You cannot play minions that have the same attack as they do health. Wow. And then that literally can't be missed. So how did he word? Uh, you can't play minions that have the same attack and health. We need to cut to break soon. We're cutting to break. Okay. Okay. I... I mean, it's I my fault. I literally just could have asked. Yeah. Yeah. Still, So you assumed you can't play two minions in the same turn that have the same attack no, no, and health no, as each other? Attack. Like, I thought you couldn't, you couldn't play, like, Mind Control Tech and Earth and Ring Farseer. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You can't have two minions in your deck that have the same attack and health as each other. Right. That's what I thought it was. So you could only have one ofs too, you, you assumed? That'd be kind of Highlander again. Um, no, I didn't assume you could only have one ofs. I mean, what if you have two Shredders in your deck that have the same attack well, and health? Well, they're both Pilot and Shredder, so it's fine. If they're both the same minion, then you can play it? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Like my, my interpretation of it was, okay. was bad. I mean, I'm not going right. to deny that, but hey, <laughs> still got a G. All right. Still got a G. Still got a G. Yeah. Nicely done. We'll go. Especially we'll coming go. back from zero points. We'll go to the tables. Good job, Admirable. Thank you. And we're going to go to break. Thanks, Twitch, Fanatic Gear, and Jelly Belly. All right. <laughs>